Hey there, I am Jessica from The Jess Tales, and my mission is to help you be your most motivated and productive self while looking super cute on a budget. So today's video is my giant 2021 spring slash summer Abercrombie and Fitch haul. This is three different orders that I placed. I have all three orders printed and ready to go so I can walk you through exactly how everything fits. But first things first, I have to show you my measurements. So this is one thing that I love to do before big hauls like this, especially when retailers cost a little bit more like Abercrombie does. So the purpose of this is not to really tell you what I'm measuring, even though I'm telling you my measurements, but it's more so to be a resource for you. So you can see what my waist to hip ratio is, and then you can try to compare that with how things fit on me and what sizes fit. It can help you whenever you're shopping online, because that's really hard to do. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get into it. Of course, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and comment below at the end what your favorite piece was. It really supports me and my channel. Okay, first things first, I'm going to do a waist measurement. Okay, so my smallest part of my waist is right at 26. The largest part of my hip, 36 and a half, 37. Okay, first item, these Curve Love Ultra High Rise Ankle Straight jeans. These are in wash black and these are a size 25. They fit perfect like a glove. I love the way that these fit. I love the straight leg. I think that is so flattering on so many body types, pretty much every body type. I love the holes in the knees. I think these are super flattering. A pair of black jeans looks awesome on everybody. I would say comparing these jeans to all the rest, the black wash seems to fit tighter than all the other ones I tried on. That was pretty interesting. So if you are between sizes, I would say go to the next size up if you want these to have a more relaxed fit or just fit normal. These are the Curve Love High Rise 4 inch mom shorts. These are in a size 25. I'm going to be trying on the exact same pair in a 24 later in the video. They're in a different order, but these are the 25s. They fit perfect, so I would say these are very true to size. Again, I did notice that the white items seem to fit looser all around than the black and the denim, but these fit really true to size. You can tell they're very high rise. They're not an ultra high rise. They're just listed as high rise, but I did notice the back of these were like super high rise. One thing I love about these shorts is that they cut the outside of the seam so that it's super comfortable, roomy. I just love the way that they fit. These are a four inch inseam. I have found that in all Abercrombie shorts, four inch is the way to go for me personally. If I get just regular inseam, if it's just not listed as a four inch inseam, I find that I am falling out of the back of my shorts. So just keep that in mind. Again, that's why I gave you my measurement so you can understand why certain things fit me the way they do and fit other people if you've seen them on other influencers, if that's why they fit them different. Third item, Curve Love High Rise 4 inch mom shorts, the exact same style. These are a size 25, but these are the medium ripped wash. These fit so much looser than the exact same pair of the white ones I just had on. The exact same, nothing is different about them except that they're a different wash and they fit completely different. These were way too big. So in these, I would have definitely had to have a 24. I do love the color of them. They are very cute. I just wish they fit a little bit better. These jeans, I actually just got out of the dryer. So I am keeping these. I love these white jeans. My eyes have been on them for months, since February, I think whenever they came out with them. I'm obsessed with the way they fit. These are the same as the black ones that I had on earlier. These exact ones are a size 25 and they fit great. I have a pair of 24s that I'm trying on later in the exact same jean. Way too tight. They fit fine, but for long term, like if I wanted to sit down, I prefer the 25s. I like the extra room that I have around the hip and thigh. Again, because these are a Curve Love, I think that's why they fit so well, but I love these. These are a Curve Love high rise mom jean. I do not like the way that these fit. I think that they are too big around the hip and thigh. Because they're mom jeans, I would say that I should not have gone with a Curve Love. I think that when we're going with mom and boyfriend fits, Curve Love is not necessary for my body type just because there's already extra room without the hip and thigh. And these are a size 25. 
These jeans were my second favorite next to the white ones. These are the Curve Love High Rise Mom Jeans. So these are the same as the second white ones that I did not like, that I did return, except they fit better. So again, very strange. This pair is a size 24, so they do fit tighter, but they fit perfect, like a glove. I just preferred a size up. So these are the size up, these are the 25, the exact same Curve Love High Rise Mom Jeans. This wash is medium ripped wash. I love the whole placement on these jeans. I love the way they feel. They are true denim. They don't have any stretch to them, which I like, but you have to understand that before you get them. So I would say in this scenario, stay true to size. If not, size up one. These are Curve Love Mid Rise Boyfriend Shorts. These are the dark ripped wash size 24. So because they're Curve Love, they have the extra two inches around the hip and thigh. I love the relaxed fit of the Mid Rise Boyfriend. I also like that they're not so high rise, so they don't go straight up to your tummy. Sometimes that's more comfortable, especially if you're eating with these shorts on. Sometimes I think the mid-rise can be a lot more comfortable. These are perfect for just casual, throw them on. You're not trying to wear a crop top with them. I think that they're very versatile and I love the way that they fit and they feel very comfortable. Okay, these are the same shorts, but not the Curve Love version. So these are also a size 24 in the dark ripped wash, the mid-rise boyfriend shorts just not curve love. So because they're boyfriend shorts, like we discussed with the mom jeans, they already fit looser. So I don't really need the extra two inches in the hip and thigh with curve love. So I love these. These are the ones I would go with. They fit very well. The 24 in this case is my true to size. So these fit well. I did not have to go to a 25. I say true to size, I'm very between sizes, but the 24s in these jeans fit perfect. If I would have gotten a 25, they would have been gaping on me. Okay, these shorts are the exact same. These are Curve Love mid-rise boyfriend shorts, but these are in the medium ripped wash. And on the website, I believe they're actually called light, but these are them. I love the way they fit. I actually prefer these over the dark ripped wash because I like front of the thigh better on these shorts. These are a size 24 and these are the Curve Love version. So again, a little bit too big in the hip and thigh, but they fit really nice in the waist. So that's what I mean whenever I say that the Curve Love really fixes um, gaping waist or a waist gap. And here we get into some really odd sizing. So these are the exact same wash, the light ripped wash. Even though they look the exact same, the ones before are called a medium ripped wash and these are a light ripped wash so these claim to be a 24 on the tag they say 24 but as you can see they are falling off of my waist so I think these are definitely a 25 or a 26 they may have been mistagged I'm not sure I didn't try to return and get another pair but they fit way bigger I would not be able to wear these but I actually like the way that they fit around the hip and thigh better than the curve love so both of these were a no-go because they just didn't fit the way I wanted them to, but I do love the distressing on the front of them and I love the color. Even though one is labeled as medium and one is labeled as light, I'm not quite sure what goes on with that, but these are them. Bottom line, one is the Curve Love Mid-Rise Boyfriend, the other one is the regular Mid-Rise Boyfriend in both the dark and the medium or light colors. And I love the fit of them, I love the style of them for super casual shorts. Just none of them happen to work out sizing wise. The 12th item is this bikini, which I have been dying for. I absolutely love the way it fits. The top is an extra small. And then in this clip, the bottoms are a small. So I tried those on first. They fit pretty good, but there was just a little bit of extra fabric around the front, like some ridging. And I knew that once you get wet and your bathing suit kind of sags a little bit, if there's any extra fabric, you'll be able to see it. So I sized down to an extra small which is shown here. So the extra smalls fit much better. They feel more secure. What I love about the cut of these around your hip is that they don't cut out your hips. Target swimsuits, for example, squeeze me like a sausage, but these I think fit really well. They're super supportive. I love the top because the ties are adjustable on the shoulder as well as the back and they go around your shoulder like up and down instead of like a halter and I think that is super cute and great for tanning because you're not going to have a big thick line. This bathing suit is light blue floral prints. I also really love the navy floral print, but they've been out of stock in my size for months and I hope they come back because I want to get the full set. They even have a little sarong that you can put around that matches. 
super cute. But this bathing suit is very high quality. I think it's very worth the price. And that's coming from someone who refuses to spend more than Shein prices on swimsuits. But this was a keeper. And this item is one of my favorite items that I got. This is the Active Mini Dress. This is obviously the black color. They have a few other colors. I think this is super cute. Active Mini Dresses are totally in this spring and summer. And I can see why. The whole inside is a really comfortable spandexy romper but it's very breathable so i love the way that it feels on personally i should have gotten an extra small tall if you have a longer torso like i do i do recommend getting talls in abercrombie dresses but this is such a cute dress and i love the little pocket on the right shorts area so you can put your phone your key anything like that in there but this is very comfortable super adorable. I absolutely love this dress. Hands down, the absolute best thing that I purchased from this entire haul is this sweatsuit. I really actually needed some cuter loungewear, especially for like Sundays when it's still kind of chilly in the spring, and I go grocery shopping super early on Sunday morning, so I'm always looking for a cardigan or a hoodie to put on, and I have not taken the hoodie off since I got it. I'll come home from work and put it right on. These sweatpants are matching. They are kind of different lines, but everything is in the color limestone. I loved this set so much that I actually bought the classic sweatpants in the same limestone color, and they are on the way. They're not here yet, but that's how much I loved it because I wanted a three-piece set instead of a two-piece. So the hoodie is puff sleeves. It's really cute to kind of pull up on your arm because the sleeves just stay puffed out. Very cozy looking. It is super soft on the inside and very warm. And then the shorts are more of a like really soft, terry, lightweight material on the inside, which is equally as comfortable. Just one's more like wintry fleece, where the other one's more of like a cooler, but still warm and soft, terry material. These shorts are so comfortable. These are called the Traveler Shorts. These are in the color Light Lavender, which I think is so fun for spring and summer. I can easily see myself riding in the car with these if we're going to the beach or traveling on an airplane. They are super flattering. They're high-waisted. They also come in black and I think a sage color. Super versatile. You can also wear them working out if you wanted to. There's many things you can do with them. The drawstring on them is also a working drawstring, so you can pull it tighter with it. It's not just there for decoration, which is one of my pet peeves, but I love these shorts. They're just super comfortable and very lightweight and breathable for summer. These white shorts are the same ones from the very beginning of this video, but these are actually in a size 24, so they're a size down. These are Curve Love High Rise 4 inch mom shorts, but these are in the size 24. So I sized up to 25 and they fit much better. These still fit really well, but I just want some extra room because I cannot stand tight shorts in the heat of summer. But I love the way these fit. As I mentioned, I've got to be 4 inch legs because otherwise everyone can see everything. And these white jeans are the ones I mentioned earlier but in the size 24. So I ended up exchanging these for a 25 and I'm keeping the 25s. Even though these fit like a glove, they fit perfect. I didn't have any problems buttoning or zipping and I could sit down comfortably in them. I just preferred the fit of the 25 more because there was just more room. These are still the Curve Love version. So they're Curve Love ultra high rise ankle straight jeans in white. And I love the look of those. And these shorts, <laughs> are a total winner, but these are actually the exact same as the white ones I just had on. These are the Curve Love High Rise 4 inch mom shorts, but these are in the black color, and these are 24, and they actually fit perfect. I didn't feel the need to get them in a size 25 because they fit so well right the way they are. They are like a glove, but they're not too tight, if that makes sense, so I think that these run in the black wash just a tad bigger, if not more true to size but I love the way these look. Again, they have that split seam on the outside, which is so comfortable and so perfect. You can move around, you can sit down, and you don't feel like your thigh is going to be cut in half. And last but not least from this haul, I'm really happy because I kept that short, but this is the Cozy Duster Cardigan. This is in the color light blue, size extra small. I would definitely stay true to size. I don't think I would size up because as you can see, the sleeves are not too tight. That's usually a problem with cardigans, but in this case, it was a perfect fit. I love the length of it and it is so soft. It feels like a cloud, but it's not 
thick, it's not heavy, it's actually very breathable, very lightweight. I show you the difference in the material. The outside is more like a very soft, almost fuzzy material, whereas the inside is like a really smooth, cool material. So it's awesome cardigan. I know that it was on clearance when I bought it. I'm sure it's still on clearance now. But this kind of thing is perfect for when you go to the beach and it's still not super hot, like mainly all the way up through June when you still have some chilly mornings or some chilly nights with the wind. A cardigan like this is perfect to throw on. So that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed that haul. It was super fun to make and I loved getting everything in the mail, trying it all on. <sighs> the shopper in me was super satisfied with this one. So I hope that you enjoyed. Again, it was three orders and I worked really hard on it and so I hope that it helps you out. I hope that me sharing my measurements also helps you out because I know that as a fellow female, it is so hard to find things that fit correctly without ordering a thousand different sizes. And even though I had to, I'm hoping that I could kind of be your guinea pig and prevent you from having to do the same thing. If you have any questions about the way certain things fit or about sizing or measurements, please don't hesitate to ask. I am here to help you. And please hit that subscribe button because it means the world. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.